Our experience with most dedicated gun belts out there is the belt is often big and stiff because it's kind of coming from a duty belt and trying to make a duty belt work as a concealment belt. And so we wanted to find something that had a very simple buckle that was low profile, that had a very intelligent way of capturing the tail. So we wanted a belt that balanced both stiffness and comfort. So it needed to be stiff enough to support the gear that you were gonna carry, something like an inside the waistband holster and maybe a mag pouch, but then also be flexible enough to be comfortable on the waist for all day carry. Oftentimes the thick rigid gun belts are too rigid um, and they don't allow flex and movement with the body. For a long time we've been fans of Wilderness Tactical products. They make a great belt. They are the manufacturers and designers of the original instructor belt, which is the belt that most tactical belts are kind of a copy of. They've been sewing belts and other tactical products for 40 plus years. They have a proprietary webbing that they use that really balances the rigidity and comfort really well. We reached out to Wilderness Tactical Products and they agreed to partner with us on this project and we have combined their support webbing, a single thickness of their support webbing along with a face webbing. Those two webbings combined together creates what we kind of refer to as a one and a half thickness belt. It is more rigid than your standard fashion belt or something you might buy at REI or something like that. Um, but it's not as rigid and stiff as many of those double thickness belts that are typically used as a concealed carry belt. Our low profile proprietary buckle combined with their webbing and their resin dip on the end, then the two interface really well. The tail of the belt slides through the buckle and is then contained behind the other side of the belt, which kind of solves the what do you do with the tail problem. This setup works really well for something like a Glock 19 or a Glock 43X in an inside the waistband holster. We decided to add an underbelt version of the Zero Belt. And so basically taking the standard Zero Belt and just adding loop Velcro around the outside that will work with most duty belts. Most duty belts have hook Velcro on the inside. And so this works really well interfacing with those. The nice thing about it is it also works then as a high performing concealment belt. So rather than having to swap out your underbelt, you can just go from concealment, remove whatever stuff you carry on a regular basis, and then just add the duty belt or the competition belt or whatever it is the thing that you're carrying over the top of it. The loop webbing additionally adds some stiffness to the belt. So it adds additional girth stiffness. And so it works really well for outside the waistband carry. It's a little bit stiffer than the standard zero belt, but it's still really comfortable and supports the gear that you need to carry. Several months ago, we got a request from a government customer for an even heavier version of the zero belt. And so they had the need of supporting an outside the waistband holster, uh, cuff pouch, radio pouch, several mags, a taser possibly. And so they wanted a heavier, more sturdy version than the original zero belt or even the underbelt. Based off of that request, we produced the Zero Heavy Belt. So the Zero Heavy Belt is two layers of wilderness support webbing and then a single layer of face webbing on the outside. The two layers of webbing basically run the entire distance around your waist and the tail reduces down to the single thickness of wilderness webbing and the support webbing. With the thinner, more flexible tail, we are able to keep the same buckle. So the tail slides into the buckle and is flexible and hides behind the other side of the belt. And so we're able to create a much more stiff version. It's that wilderness webbing, so it still balances stiffness and rigidity really well. It's actually quite soft in this direction, um, but in this direction, vertically, there's a lot of support for carrying whatever equipment that you need to carry. The Zero Heavy Belt is now available on our website, so you can purchase this as well. So if you are somebody who wants a low profile belt that is comfortable with a low profile buckle that hides the tail easily, and then also has the rigidity and support to carry a heavier load, or you just like a thicker, heavier belt, then the Zero Heavy Belt is the answer.